Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam or Xshaws, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a game of Team Deathmatch on the map Crisis. And I'm gonna have to admit to you guys, the uh, teammate or not the teammates, the opponents that I played against in this game were absolutely terrible. So although it's not you know easy to do what I did in this game, the fact that my enemies were all lower levels definitely didn't make this any more difficult. So I just thought I'd clarify that right off the bat. That these guys definitely weren't MLG pros. They were uh, quite honestly bad players and that's probably part of the reason why I was able to do so well um, and you know get this game. So please don't point it out. It's kind of obvious and I just thought I'd let you guys know that I know it as well. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, some more tips and tricks related stuff for Black Ops and some advice I have for you guys. So uh, as you can see right here, I'm playing on Crisis in the spot that I just died in right here. Uh, by the way, that's my only death of this game, kind of cool. Um, but the spot that I just died in right there is without a doubt the best spot on Crisis for me. Alright, I find the most success in that spot and that's why you'll find me there like more than more so than you'll find me in any other spot on this map. And the reason being is because it gives you access to quite a few popular areas and this is not one of them. This is uh, this little like uh, walkway, this little uh, dirt path is the spot where you want to set your play more or your motion sensor and you, you want to go with one of those two equipment They're the best two equipment in the game You set either claymore or motion sensor on that path to stop people from coming that way And then all you have to do is mainly keep your focus on the area uh, Right here where I'm looking at right now towards the left by this stairway over here And as long as you can focus on that area of the map you can make sure that nobody comes up behind you and uh, You know if you have your claymore slash motion sensor on the other walkway Then you'll be completely safe because the other area Area that you uh, look off off the cliff people can't come up that way that's just an area for you to shoot enemies so uh, that is like the best spot on the map and is absolutely incredible for domination when you have them uh, trapped on the beach spawn uh, I think that's the a flag area and if you have them trapped in that area there is I mean it's just annihilation they will not get to be you can just absolutely wreck them the entire game and that's why I love that spot so uh, although it's a very simple tip, um, it, it definitely goes a long way if you uh, heed my warning or take my advice, whatever. So uh, anyway, today I wanted to talk about the best secondaries in this game. So uh, I had a uh, request via Twitter by somebody, um, or their Twitter uh, username was CSP underscore one, and he says, or she says, uh, X Jaws do a commentary about the best secondaries and their specific uses. I can't decide on which pistol to use. So um, this guy, CSP1, uh, wanted to know what secondary should he use, and I, I thought I would talk about that because it's kind of changed a little bit from what you would want from Modern Warfare 2. So obviously in this game, you don't have machine pistols. You have one pistol, which I'll talk about in a minute, which has a fully auto attachment for it. Um, but other than that, all the pistols are all the pistols are semi-automatic, um, and then the only other things you have uh, available. Uh, is the ballistic knife, the crossbow, and then the launchers. So first of all, the only launcher that you can justify using is the Strela 3. I mean, if you don't have the Strela 3, then yeah, go with the law. Um, but if you have the Strela 3, that's the only rocket that you should be using. And for those of you unaware, it's basically a stinger missile. And I don't have any classes set up with a Strela 3 because I think I've only died from a gunship. I, I, I haven't died from a gunship or attack dogs at all since I got on Black Ops. And I think I've died from a chopper gunner like six or seven times when I checked. So uh, I don't usually face air support, but for you guys who might end up facing air support sometimes, just have one class with Estrella 3 on and all your other classes use what I recommend now. So um, in Modern Warfare 2, if I did go with a pistol, the only way you were going to find it using one is if it was a Kimbo. I like the Kimbo Magnums, I like the Kimbo USBs, and I like the Kimbo M9s. And uh, I didn't like the Akimbo Deagles too much. I know some people did, but uh, whatever. And the reason why the Akimbo weapons, the Akimbo um, secondaries were so good in that game, or not secondaries, just pistols, uh, was because the time that it took you to switch to it was the exact same as um, switching to a regular pistol that wasn't dual wielded, that wasn't Akimbo. But in Black Ops, they changed that. So now it actually takes more time to switch to an Akimbo slash dual wielded uh, pistol than it does a regular pistol with, oh, say, extended mags. So that's what I find myself using more so than any other attachment for the pistols is going to be extended mags. And then you just have to decide which pistol works well for you. And for me, it's the Makarov. I like the Makarov more so than the ASP or any of the other, you know, um, pistols. A lot of people like the... Um, the Python, but I don't find too much success with that. I need more than, you know, I think the six or seven bullets that it gives you. I just, I'm not very accurate. I've talked about that before, and it doesn't really help me out too much in a lot of the situa situations where I might run into multiple enemies. So I say Makarov with extended mags is the best way to go. 
And uh, if you just want to take a little bit more general advice, any pistol with extended mags is the best way to go. Whichever pistol is your favorite, go with extended mags. But then, of course, the Python doesn't have the extended mags option. So if you're a Python guy, if you're an accurate person who really likes that gun, uh, I would recommend going with the uh, speed reloader on that weapon. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of my tips for secondaries. Like I said, one class set aside with Ghost uh, with your Strella 3, and then the rest of your classes go with uh, any of the pistols of your, or pistol of your choice with extended mags, and uh, you pretty much can't go wrong. That's about it, guys. I'll see you later. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel.